Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Justine, obviously. A few weeks ago, I reached out to my little crochet community and asked people if they would be willing to make me some squares to make like a community patchwork sweater. I wanted to make another patchwork sweater and I thought it would be fun to incorporate pieces from friends, from people I've met on the internet, just like different crocheters and kind of bring all of our work together in one, one spot. So I'm really grateful. I had several people send me squares and I haven't looked at any of them yet. Before I open all of these packages, I'll show you some of the squares that I've made. I wanted to make some of my own first because I don't know how many I'm getting and I know that I'm gonna have to make like quite a few of my own and I wanted to make them before I see any of these so they don't like influence my making of the squares. First I made, I made some velvet ones. I made two of each of these colors. I thought it would add some nice like texture variation and it's just like soft and comfy so I was like why not? And then I made, <laughs> I made this one as an homage to my Ziggy sweater. <laughs> if you know, you know. And then I made just this little, like, what is it, the bubble stitch? Just to add texture, like I really want this to have a lot of texture and variety. And then I also made this one, which is kind of fun, it's 3D, based on Ophelia Talks, her channel. She has like a tutorial for this kind of 3D flower. So I made that. I don't really like it, but it's fine. <laughs> and then I just made a textured, like a ribbed, uh, plain blue one. So now I'm going to open all of these and um, get this show on the road, you know? Okay, let's do it. So these are all of the packages I got so far. I think there's nine of them here. Don't mind that toy, okay. I'm still waiting on one, but hopefully we'll get here in time. And then I have another one being shipped to Massachusetts because I'm actually going there this week. Okay, I'm gonna start with the copy dolls squares. So it's three sisters and I asked them, I don't know how many I'm getting or who made what, but I'm gonna put everyone's Instagram information over here as I talk about them. I'm so nervous. Um, oh my God, cute. Oh. Bright colors, I love this so much. So we've got a cute little orange one, a nice little blue one. Oh, this is gonna be so good, guys. This is gonna be so good. Cute, oh, I love those colors. Beautiful. Ooh, I really like this yarn. Can you let me know what yarn this is? <laughs> Beautiful, oh my gosh, girls. You did great. These colors are everything. Thank you so much. So this is from Sarah. Ooh, I like what I see. Oh. And there's a little note. Stop it, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Sorry about cat hair. Girl, <laughs> it's so fine. Thank you so much. Like literally, I'm gonna cry, but thank you absolutely gorgeous i love this one that is beautiful beautiful blue whoa that's gorgeous guys i'm literally gonna cry <laughs> not me literally crying over crocheted squares it's fine I'm fine. We're moving on. Okay. I love this. We had the same idea of doing like the ribbing textured. I love this color too. And this is beautiful. I love all these bright colors because like as some of you know, colorful things are kind of out of my comfort zone. So I'm really, really excited that you guys are bringing some color into this. Thank you, Sarah. Um, you made me cry. So that's great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I think this is Morgan. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> I appreciate you. I already know I'm gonna love these. Urgh. Open, okay. Oh my god, cute. I can already see. Yee. Thank you, Morgan. 
I love these so much. <gasps> They're like little daisies. So we've got two of like the dark teal color and then we've got two bright green. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, I love them. Uh, thank you so, so much, Morgan. You're such a sweet human. Okay, these were the first ones that I got. They're from the UK. Her name is Ainsley and she goes by Shop Tusk Designs on Instagram. <gasps> Ooh. So we've got a cute little purple one. Oh my gosh. We've got a nice little spirally one. That is amazing. Look at that. And we've got a peace sign. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. That's amazing. This sweater is gonna be so funky and I can't wait. Thank you so, so much, Ainsley. These are gorgeous and I really appreciate the fact that you sent them all the way from the UK. That's um, insane. Okay, next we've got Crochet by Eliza. I hope that's Eliza from Ontario, Canada. Ooh, let's see, we've got a little Ooh, oh, I love these. They're like little starburst or sunburst or whatever, granny squares. I really like the black because we don't really have any of that yet. So I feel like these are gonna stand out a lot and they're gorgeous. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, these are jade, yep. Ooh, I, think I, I think she sent me a picture of these. So I think I have already seen them, but I kind of forget. Ooh, so pretty. These are gorgeous. This yarn is amazing. Purple and white of all varieties. I think she said that this yarn is like chameleon and changes color in the sun. I'll have to test that. Okay, yeah, so she said that the white is the premier chameleon yarn that'll turn pink in the sun. <gasps> Thank you so much, Jade. Okay, these are from... <laughs> <laughs> Cute drawing. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna say your name correctly, and I'm so sorry. I'm not sure if it's Ethan. It's E I T H A N. All right. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Stop. What? Okay, hold the phone. Isn't this gorgeous? <gasps> this is literally amazing. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hello? Can I just tell you something? You guys are way more talented than I am. When I made this, I wanted it to be something like this. Like, ideally, and this happened. I fucking hate myself. Okay, you guys. <gasps> With the little wings no you didn't these are absolutely incredible your artwork incredible <laughs> thank you so much i'm speechless okay i have two more these two are my friends in real life <laughs> my friend jacob we're friends from college he just learned how to crochet uh maybe a few months ago i don't know but he's actually pretty good at it and he, this whole time he's been like oh my squares are terrible i hate the yarn that i chose blah 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 whatever i'm sure they're great oh my god cute what are you talking about jacob literally oh my gosh they're so cute and colorful <laughs> amazing amazing thank you and then this one my friend nick I think he's fairly new to crocheting too. I think he's learned just recently. Oh my god, cute. See, another one. You guys are amazing. I actually love that. How it's like a stripe and then a different color. Look at how beautiful. You guys did amazing. I love it so much. Thank you. Okay, so I have 29 squares. Wow. Plus my, plus eight. 37 so I think I need like 52 so I have to make like a few more but that is oh my gosh guys I am I can't tell you how happy this made me so thank you so much again to everyone who reached out and participated I think you don't actually understand how much it means to me so <laughs> before I cry again see ya when I make more progress on this crazy little sweater hello this is different huh <laughs>
Okay, so it's been a while. I feel really bad about how long this project is, is taking in real time. For you guys watching, it's like milliseconds, but I have a couple more to open today and then I'm gonna get started and at least stitch together like the back panel and maybe a sleeve. These are from Elsa. Oh my God. Whoa, dude, that is cool. And then look at the little bees. Are you kidding? Thank you so much. I'm literally shook. I'm like high key shook. I see, I can't do shit like this. You guys are blowing me out of the water, let me just say. And then we've got some from Kelly. Oh, sweet. Cute, so cute. Ooh, I really like this one. Is this all like puff stitches? I love the colors. Thank you so much, Kelly. Oh my. Now I'm gonna piece together a back panel and stitch it together. few days we're not surprised at this point also like this lighting <laughs> i'm using a whole ass like studio light because my dad is a video producer and that's where i'm at right now so i'm using one of his special lights and it's kind of blowing my mind i'm not really sure what's going on but here i am and i have a couple more squares to open i think these are my final ones they took longer because they came all the way from singapore they're from Loco Hands on Instagram. They sent them to Albuquerque, but by the time they got to New Mexico, I was already gone. So my mom went to my PO box and put them back in the mail to send to Massachusetts, and now they're here. Oh, thank you so, so much. Ooh, that's so fun. Look at, ooh, which direction would you do? I almost like it this way, cause it's like melting down. That's pretty cool. Well, I really appreciate it, especially like you sent it all the way from Singapore. Like, hi. That really means, it really does mean a lot to me and it's really freaking cool. So I can't wait. Oh, also the other day I did finish my back panel of the sweater. So there is the back panel all sewed together. It's looking fabulous. And basically, I'm just going to work towards finishing the rest of the sweater in like the next couple days, hopefully. Okay, so I have the back panel over there, it's done. And then I've laid out all the rest of my squares. We have one sleeve, and then we have the front of the cardigan. I made these two like slanted squares for the neckline. And basically, I just made like a regular chain the length that I wanted and then I just decreased one every row so it's a nice diagonal and then the other sleeve over there yeah I'm just going to sew it all together and then I'll just have to add like the ribbing around the whole thing If 
Finally know the reason why, yeah I'm never really satisfied, yeah I finished the two like front panels. This is a really bad angle. Okay, so basically this is the back panel. These are the front two. And I'm just gonna sew this the shoulder seams to make it all one piece. Imagine I walk through your doorway. Imagine skipping all the foreplay. Imagine all the stars in one place. Okay, I have to be a little bit quiet because it's like midnight. I guess it's when I do my best work, but... So cute. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest tomorrow because I gotta go to bed. So I'm definitely sort of at the point of losing my mind with this whole sewing thing. I went ahead, you didn't miss much, don't worry. I went ahead and sewed together both of the sleeves. I just did three by three because I feel like that'll be like a good size for a sleeve. And then I'm gonna cuff it at the bottom, obviously. Oh wait, fuck. I forgot I didn't finish this one. I was supposed to finish it last night and then I ended up on TikTok. Um, I really thought I was done. So I have to do two more sides, but then I'm going to show you how I'm gonna sew the sleeves onto the body and all that stuff. I was hoping that we were just gonna do that now but I guess um, I have to finish this one first. Okay, so this is the sweater. This is how I want it to be constructed. I'm gonna first sew the sleeves onto the main part of the sweater. So I just like lined it up like this so you could see it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flop these open like that and flop the sleeves open and just sew them along here. And that's my plan at the moment. So exciting that we're starting to see what it's gonna look like. I also have many regrets about not tying these strings off as I've been sewing. I kind of just like let them be and I was like, I'll deal with it later. But now that I'm dealing with it later, I wish I had just tied them off as I went. But you live and you learn. Some lessons you learn several times and that's okay. So I'm gonna keep sewing and I'm hoping to finish this today, but what time is it? I don't even know, it's probably like 2 p.m. So we'll see how much I can do. Alright guys, I have the sleeves all attached and I think you'll be very proud of me because I wove in all of my ends. Like I actually wove them in. Are you proud? I'm proud. Anyways, moving on. This is currently turned inside out and I'm just stitching together the side seam and then the seam on the arm. And I got tired of sewing. So I'm actually doing a slip stitch up the side. I don't like doing slip stitch for the whole thing because it makes the whole thing very bulky. I like sewing it together. But not only am I tired of sewing, but I know like these side seams and like under the sleeves aren't as visible. So I'm okay with like a little bit of bulkiness on the sides and it'll be fine. I just like can't sew. I can't sew anymore. All right, so basically I'm just going to slip stitch these guys together. I'm just making sure that I line up like square for square. That's pretty much it. So this 
this is the seam so far here and here yeah I like it basically I'm just gonna do this um, up the sides and down the sleeve on both sides I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night I'm gonna try this bad boy on and then I'm gonna decide how I want to do the ribbing. Haven't really thought about it yet. <laughs> I'm going to... What am I gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to add a little bit of a, a cuff at the end of the sleeves. I do kind of like, I don't know, I kind of like the open sleeves because it's very like, it's more like bell bottomy and like groovy. And this sweater is pretty groovy. So I don't know if I want to take it in and like cuff the sleeve. I probably do at least a little bit. And then I'm going to do a border around the bottom and probably cinch it in like a little bit because it's very like tenty in the back and then i'll try to go around here as well only thing is i don't have buttons but i might just not do buttons like it'll just be an open cardigan what do we think about that yeah i'm okay with that okay so i made a little cuff on the end of the sleeve i have to see if i like it first I mean, pretty basic, pretty easy, keeping it simple. So basically what I did is I crocheted right into the edge of the sleeve because I didn't want to have to sew on the cuff. So I crocheted around and then basically I, I was doing double crochet, um, alternating front post and back post to give like the ribbing effect. And I did six rounds and that's what it looks like. I'm starting the bottom ribbing. I'm basically just going to go corner to corner, back and forth, along the bottom. I'll be doing double crochet. I'm going to do the stitches a little bit spread out so that it cinches in the bottom a little bit. That's really all I got for you right now. I know this video is already going to be like two and a half hours, so I'm going to keep the these final moments to a minimum. So here's the deal. I finished the bottom ribbing last night. Very simple. Just, you know, I think I did five or six rows of the ribbing. I am so close to being done. I'm just now creating the border for like the front and then around the neck and back down. And I think I'm gonna keep it very, very simple and I'm just gonna do two rows of plain double crochet. I'm not gonna make it ribbed because there's plenty of ribbing on the rest of the sweater. Yeah, that's my plan. It's the final stretch. I'm a little bit, you know, I don't want to say over it, but like kind of over it. I just want it to be done so that I can like take cute pictures and like show you guys, you know? So that's really it. I'm not even going to do a time lapse of this. So the next time you see me, this thing is going to be done. I will see you on the other side, my friends. I'm very excited. Um, I had to fudge. I had to fudge this border once because it. I did too many stitches, so it was like rippling. It's fine. I didn't tie it off yet just in case it looks stupid when I put it on. Do we love it or do we love it? Oh, I'm so glad it's not tenty back here. Did I nail it? Did I nail it? Guys.
Did I nail it? I gotta go look in like a real mirror before I get this confident. Oh my god. Okay, I looked in a mirror and it's a big yes for me. I really like how it's like slightly cinched in at the bottom so it's not just like flying out there into outer space. It kind of like stays closer to my body now and it just like falls really nicely. Um, and I, I'm really not mad about not having buttons. Like I feel like it's just like, don't do that. Yeah, I feel like it's like chilling. Okay, um, what do you guys think? What do you think? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be posting tons of pictures of this on Instagram. If you wanna see more like details of the sweater, go look over there. I guess that that's it. It's always so weird like having the buildup of a project, especially something like this where so many people are involved. And then I just like grind it out for like however long it takes and then like boom, it's done. So here we are. A huge thank you to everyone who sent me a square, who showed interest in sending squares but didn't get around to it. I will say that I have potentially more squares coming in. I don't have any definite projects planned, but if you want to send me squares, I will definitely use them. This project was um, really fun and really uh, just amazing to have all of these crocheters come together in this interesting way. I just think it's the coolest thing ever. Like, we did this, guys. We did. We did it. I never know how to end these. It just feels so, like, sad. Thanks for being here. Thanks for supporting me. And I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!